Welcome to part C. Part C of our lab, what we're going to do is we're going to change the amount of mass at the end. So we've been using this one stopper and we actually haven't looked to see how much mass that is yet. So I've got my nice uh, balance here. So you can see it. And this is the one we've been using all along. So you can get the mass of having one. I'm gonna add this one with the green strings. I'm gonna add this uh, and do this one. Now, the reason why I'm only gonna do two rounds in this one is you already have, this is gonna be 75 centimeters and it's going to be as a radius and it's gonna be 100 grams. So you can go back to part A and use the 75 centimeter 100 gram one and use that for your data. And you know the mass now of that stopper. I'm going to, in this part of the, in this particular video, I'm going to add this to it and we're going to do these two together. So now you can see what the mass will be when they are together. And then I'm going to do one more round where I'm going to add this one too. And you can see the mass when all three are on. And this is going to change the mass of the object. And that will let you ch check the frequency versus the mass of the object. So. I'm going to start by attaching this to this. So I'm just going to tie this one on to this one um, that's already there. So but we will have two of these on. You now know what the mass of those are. Make sure I tie it on nice and strong so I don't put a hole in my basement wall. We just redid our basement last year, so uh, I don't want my husband freaking out when he gets home later. So <laughs> I am going to use my 100 grams. So that will be the mass. My radius is 75 centimeters, which is what we need. And I'm going to move back here and do this for both of these on here. So it just takes me a minute to get stable, and then I'll tell you when that happens. And then you can go crazy timing. Okay, that seems pretty stable. So anytime you're ready. Okay, so that should give you lots of data you can do. Remember three trials, you're going to decide how many you're going to count and time three sections of that to get your data. Okay, now I'm going to add these guys as well. Again, I'm going to make sure they're on nice and tight so that I don't put holes in the walls. This one's going to be a little tricky. Oh, there we go. So, you now know the total mass of this. Same thing, 75 centimeters, still 100 grams. I'm going to do a bunch of footage. We're going to time three trials. Should be pretty used to it by now. Watching your teacher swing things in a circle. What else do you do at school? Look into physics. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my mask fell off. I'm like, what the heck just happened? The mask fell off. Let me get the mask back on. This happens. Any good experiment. Just got to a nice stable place, too, eh? I don't know where they're going. What's going on? Okay. I think I hit the 
catch me. Okay, I think I'm stable. Anytime you're ready. Swinging at the bottom. There we go. It's trying to stabilize the bottom. It starts swinging in a circle. That's really fun. Keep swinging. Keeps you steady now. There we go. Okay, that should be enough footage. You can get three trials. I admit my arm's starting to hurt. So that is part C. So now you can go and do it. Remember, you're gonna have three points. You're gonna have one from part A with one, two stoppers, and three stoppers from this video. 